This video provides highlights from the 2019 UMass Boston Active Shooter Exercise. This exercise was held in University Hall, which is our newest building on campus, housing classrooms, offices, and auditoriums. In addition to dozens of security cameras in the building, this building has classroom emergency lockdown buttons. We followed the Homeland Security Exercise and Evaluation Program and tested not only police response, but also civilian whole community response to an active threat incident. Using our campus buildings allows our police officers to bring their outstanding off-site training home and also allows us to see just how serious and disciplined their active threat response training is. The police officers of the UMass Boston Police Department are put through a rigorous week of tactical scenario-based active shooter training. The training is then put to the test when we host our annual university-wide active shooter full-scale exercise, where our police officers respond to carefully planned real-life active shooter scenarios. We are prepared as a police department and a community to respond to the unthinkable. Control all units. We advise we have shots fired at University Hall. That's shots fired at University Hall. Is there any other threat? Is there any other threat? Well, I learned that police officers are going to come into the scene, you know, not knowing what's going on. And it's very important as somebody, as a civilian or a victim, to pay attention to what's going on, whether it's getting the active threats, uh, color shirt, or the direction that they went. I think what I learned the most after participating in this exercise, specifically as being an actor and an injured actor, is that the police have a primary objective, and that is to address the threat on campus. Uh, and so there was one scene in which I was injured and I made my way towards the police asking for their help um, and their first concern is not me in that moment even though I'm injured. Their primary objective and first and foremost is to neutralize the threat. Their primary objective is to make sure that no one else ends up as I did in the scene. The role that I played in this year's full-scale active exercise was of an observer. So I spent time in the designated observer areas with some of my colleagues, actively watching what was happening. Um, so I was really able to have the human response as a staff member here as to what would be happening or what would go on. I have been trained to deal with like initial emergencies late at night while on call, but I've never really been instructed or seen what it would be like if our officers would have to engage in disarming a threat or addressing a concern like this on campus. If I was talking to someone who hasn't been a part of this training, I would definitely encourage them to seek it out. I think it was a wonderful opportunity for me as a professional staff member here on campus to see um, what our response would be as a community and as a police department if something were to happen like this.